Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Lancaster here in Toronto with Dr. Maria Padilla, and we're discussing uh, new strategies in management and diagnosis of patients with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. And certainly with these new medications, we have um, experienced uh, side effects with the patients, and we're trying to work to manage those side effects. What what um, ways do you manage your patient's side effects? I think that one of the most important things to do with our patients is the education that comes up front, is to set their expectations for, this, um, for the treatment that they're about to receive, to outline potential uh, side effects of these uh, medications, and then to be able to manage these side effects as they ar arise to let them understand that the process is one of slowing the progression of the disease and so that um, if they understand this because we know that loss of function mm -hmm. equates to eventually decreased survival so we want to maintain as much function as we possibly can in all our patients and um, that's why I think education, setting expectations, um, discussing the potential side effects and being able to deal with these side effects if it means down titrating those or having a different kind of titration strategy for these patients is important. You know, teaching them about their uh, food intake with the medication so that they will uh, be able to tolerate some of the side effects better. I think right. all of these are important issues that we discuss with the patients. Yeah. Absolutely. So you brought up good points of um, dose reduction, uh, dose holiday mm -hmm. if necessary. Absolutely. And uh, slow titration <laughs> that may be critical as well as treating um, symptomatic side effects like diarrhea with perhaps imodium. All those things are really important. And um, taking things gradually to get patients back to what we think is full uh, therapeutic dose is important. 